We want to do something that encourages staff to get out and kind of get a bit of exercise. As an organisation, there's lots we want to do to encourage you know, anything that's a greener or more climate resilient. We had support from the Workplace Travel Grant and the Town Council funded the balance, um, but it's very much an investment for us. We couldn't afford a diesel vehicle, we didn't really want to go down that route for environmental reasons. Uh, an EV is really expensive for a small town council like us and we couldn't really justify the costs. All of our parks and open spaces and our buildings are within less than a mile of the public hall where we're based. Um, so lots of short journeys, um, the e-cargo bike just lends itself to that. We don't have to pay for any parking, we don't have to pay for any servicing, any fuel insurance, that type of thing. So over the longer term it's a much more affordable option for us. So it's part like the first step of uh, a, a series of plans where we hope they will make things uh, a bit more uh, green basically. We know from our travel survey that lots of people they they kind of they have a set way of travelling which we know won't change overnight. So the question we always ask them is: Imagine the weather was sunny, the weather is good, it's a good day. Uh, you don't have to pick up any shopping on the way home. How would you like to travel to work? And we hope that that will get people to do it once and pick out those good days rather than say, well, I can't do it every single day of the week, so I won't do it at all. We use it daily, we use it for litter picking in all our parks, so as you can see it's got a nice big area at the front where we can put all our bags of rubbish and stuff in. Um, we do our play park inspections, we're moving materials between our different sites, we've got five different buildings in this guard so we're moving consumables from one space to another, we're popping down to the builders merchants to get materials and that type of thing. So it's it's just it's just the added convenience it speed thing it speeds things up for us the car is the default and we know that for lots of people with drop-offs and various other things to do on the way um, it's it's not something that everyone can just change overnight absolutely however uh, we know that obviously the more cars on the road the more pollution if you're taking cars off the road you are starting to make you know a direct contribution to that if you can show that it's possible in, in one setting, then you're starting to make it more kind of achievable and you're breaking the norm. It's not just everyone comes by car. If you can get two, three, four, five people and it grows, then you're starting to show to other people, yeah, look, it's possible. They come past the building, they see less cars, then you, know, you hope it will spread and have those effects.